Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019 and bear with me just a couple of seconds guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Pisces, is going to be the Queen of Wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Page of Swords, then it is the positive aspect of the Ten of Swords, and then the last one, it is the Guidance, and that will be the key of the reading, the most important card here, which is going to tell me how that thing develops, it is the Hierophant card. Alright, so... Um, Well, that looks like as a, um, how do I say it? A competition won by you, let's say it that way. Um, but before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Queen of Wands, followed by the Page of Swords, which is the challenge, the first one, it is the topic. Afterwards is going to be the Ten of Swords, positive aspect, and then the last one here, it is the Hierophant card, which stands for the Guidance. Alright, so uh, Queen of Wands, uh, it is catalyzed in this reading by the um, Seven of Pentacles. So uh, that is a person that appears to find you as the man, so you are the guy for what they have to accomplish. You are the guy for the job, you are the guy for the relationship, you are main, mainly the guy that they have waited for and they have to wait no longer. So uh, in this uh, particular combo, which is a uh, active uh, neutrals here, they are willing to invest more than they are usually investing into one individual or into one agenda, which could appear, of course, your agenda. Why? It is because they see your full potential or kind of like they see what kind of potential you can unfold. This person has a, a strong sense into the human nature, but it's very different from the Queen of Cups, for example. Here, it is all about how much you can accomplish, all right? instead of who you are in reality. Additionally to that, the Queen of Wands, it is a, a very attractive, uh, so it's a, it, we, we do have a good potential here for establishing romantic relationship. It enjoys the luxuries of life, meaning it likes to party, it likes the beverages after work, you know, it likes to go to pubs, it likes to socialize and so on and so forth. And as well, it has strong, strong and acute sense into a business. So it could as well prove itself as a, a quite lucrative business venture together. But the thing is that this uh, this person, Queen of Wands, search for the right guy or for the right woman for quite some time and they finally found it in your face, right? I mean, they found you and uh, you can expect that this is going to be rather 
and an offer that you're going to receive or it's kind of like a hint of a uh, cooperation mutual drive toward a certain goal or agenda that you're going to have together. Now, what is going to be the problem, however? Well, we do have uh, the page of sorts and that is the challenge and it is catalyzed by the um, uh, the high priestess. So we do have active neutrals once again here. Well, the page have been your competitor, all right? And this one plays dirty, man. I mean, it's kind of like they have no dignity, I would say. They have no sense of um, regret, remorse, guilt as well. It's, it almost looks like a sociopath here that you will have to deal with. They are very creative and they are very um, smart as well in the sense of that uh, they, mm, I can't really explain it, uh, the, they know how to uh, how to attack, they really know how to make it hurt, okay? So how you can overcome this person? Well, they're reckless, okay? They, they don't have any patience. And while they are smart, they have no sense of intuition whatsoever. This is a neutral card to them. And while, they, well, they do have a sense of intuition, but they do not uh, follow it, right? And uh, their main weapon it is using uh, or presenting fictions as facts. So what they will try to you to do is first deceive the Queen of Wands that they are better than you, but they will not be able to because, like I said, the Queen of the Queen of Wands it has that acute uh, vision and sense into the human nature, what the capabilities are, and then when they are not able to convince the Queen of Wands, they will try to convince you that you are not capable to do with this cooperation. And that is the challenge here. Do not allow them to fill you up with fallacies. Do not allow, allow them to poison your mind with lies, right? And so the next one, it's uh, the positive aspect and that will be the Ten of Swords and it is accompanied by the Ten of Pentacles. We do have an inactive enemies. So this is going out of one dependency into another, which is a good dependency this time around in the face of the Queen of Wands. Uh, I would say with these two cards that the Queen of Wands is going to carry you. Yeah, it's going to carry you. It's going to solve a lot of your problems. It's going to allow you to go for things that on your own you can't go for, you know, success, business success or relationship success and etc. etc. But the good thing is that going out of one dependency of the Page of Swords, you are going to literally have the circumstances just right to tell to this person, go away, I don't, I don't want you anymore around me, all right, without feeling any guilt, without feeling any regret uh, in yourself for saying so, because you this time around are going to see for who they truly are, liars, um, a very vindictive type of person, someone who is very prone to hurt others for their own personal benefits, and uh, the, the list goes on and uh, goes on and on. But once you detach yourself from such a noxious person that is poisoning your life with lies, then it does look like that a new dawn is coming and is going to be beset upon you. A new dawn that will make your life look much more brighter and much more uh, filled up with, uh, with an opportunities. But that new dawn is feed up by the Queen of Wands, by this person that uh, sees, you know, how much you can accomplish. And you do have so much to accomplish. You're going to be very decisive and you will have no problem whatsoever to make the tough, the tough calls throughout this week and to do the necessary measures in order to uh, liberate yourself from the Page of Swords person who is a liar around you. And the last card here, it is the Guidance that Tarot is offering, and that will be the Hierophant card, and we do have the Star card next to it. So this is a, a passive enemies here, and the Guidance it is that it, it, it goes like this, you know, nothing belongs to someone who, um, uh, how, uh, how was it, one second, it does, uh, 
the goal does not belong to the one by right, but it does belong to the one who takes it. And so instead of hoping, you know, that a thing is going to come around on its own accord, like hoping that uh, the right person is going to come around you or hoping that uh, your career is going to improve itself on its own accord, you are going to start creating your own circumstances or this is what the cards <coughs> are advising you to do. That you can be just as successful as you make yourself to be. Poverty is a, a, a matter of a, a mental, uh, how do I say it, a, a mental standpoint. So if you do believe that you can be rich, then you are going to be rich with the cooperation of the Queen of Wands. If you believe that you can be happy, you can be happy with the Queen of Wands. You, it doesn't get any better than that. What I mean here, it is that um, it all comes to, to belief, all right? It all comes to clamor uh, of, um, how do I say it, guys? It's very difficult to describe it. Well, basically, it, it, it comes to clamor within, your, within oneself that one holds the keys toward their success, career success and uh, relationship happiness. Okay, and this clamor, should you lost it along the way up until this point, is going to be revived once again from the Queen of Wands, uh, showing you as this person is going to show you how much you're truly worth. And guess what? You're going to find out that you're worth way more than you have been paid for up until this point. So uh, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, uh, Pisces, September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.